Hey, it's Lisa here. For those of you who know me, you will know that two of my favourite things are thinking and action. I think a well thought out concept is a waste without some implementation action and that action without thought is often plain dumb. So balancing thought and action is a challenge for so many clever people who often come up against perfectionism or analysis paralysis. So being impulsive and disruptive were two words that were constantly mentioned on all of my school reports. I could never, and actually still cannot, understand why these are considered negative. When I joined Thought Leaders back in 2015 as a student, I learnt about the practice model, a cash-funded, expert-based model that encouraged me to be constantly agile. I was finally made strong and not wrong for my desire to create and to respond to change. This has never been more useful than in the past two years navigating such uncertain and turbulent times. In the commercial success of the Thought Leaders community, shows a whopping 48% increase, 48% in our collective community turnover in the last 12 months. This just proves the cleverness of the cluster strategy and the huge amount of action being taken by our incredible community. Now, one of my favourite things about running a practice is how tactical it is. I love a good strategy, but I've seen the impact and results that can be achieved from responsive and often reactive ways of working. Now, reactive people often get a bad rap, but slow and steady has never won any races for me. Action, effort and intuitive decision making has got me where I am today. Great thought leaders are constantly launching different programs to new or existing markets that they've identified will benefit from their expertise. And having a reactive mindset opens you up for more creative and more innovative work. When life is not set in stone, you are free to react to new ideas that come to you and make decisions on just received information in a fluid and quick thinking way. You get really good at working under pressure and you develop excellent problem-solving skills that are battle-tested. You become ridiculously comfortable with uncertainty and you're curious about trying new things. Now, I'm not encouraging scattered, haphazard market responses. If you aren't clear on your message and you don't understand who you help, then you will be an opportunist who spins on every dime. But I think a successful thought leader knows what they do, they know who they help, and armed with several folders of good IP, they are always ready to respond to a market's needs. 